Today we'll be making the little polyurethane skull castings, which are these in the background. And I'm going to show you the process that I use. First of all, I made this mold, which um, was made with silicone platinum series part A and part B from Tap Plastics. And then I used a mold of a skull, and this is the final result. So what we're going to be doing is mixing polyurethane casting resin, two-part mixture in these little cups, and then pouring them into this mold and letting it set up and then pulling it from the mold. First, we've got to make sure the mold's clear and clean. All right. So the polyurethane casting mold is a two-part mixture. We're going to do part A. And then part B. equal amounts and you want to mix them in a separate cup not in your same little jars here and you want to try to mix it without really whipping it and getting a lot of air bubbles even though the air bubbles will come out of the mold um, this mixture is clear but it actually hardens up in a opaque or white mix Just want to make sure it's mixed really well. You can kind of see it's, I don't know if you can see, it's a little creamy in there. We want to make sure it's consistent. All right. Then when you pour it in the mold, I pour in a little bit, about halfway, then kind of roll the mold to make sure it gets in all the little crevices, the nooks and crannies in there. And then you can fill the mold up the rest of the way. So I'm going to move this to where you can see. You'll actually see the polyurethane as it starts to cure. It'll turn from the golden color to opaque white. It usually takes a couple minutes here. I think three to five minutes is what it says. And the demold time is 10 to 15 minutes. So you want to wait at least that long before you try to pull it out of the mold. If you pull it out early, you could squish it and deform 
the shape of whatever you may be molding at the time. While we're uh, waiting for that to kick or set, these are some of the skulls I made. I used a clear resin and put a little bit of blue dye in it so we have kind of a translucent look. This guy had a problem with the mold, so it messed up the top of his head, so we kind of made it look like some brains in there. Then kind of the same thing with this one, I used a translucent resin and added a red dye, well, dark red dye. And then all these other ones are just the opaque with a different color tone to them. This one, and I'll show you how we do the dark highlights. So it's starting to cloud now. If you look in the center of the gold, you'll see it start to turn opaque. So from this point, I'm going to stop and we'll let it sit for 10, 15 minutes. And we'll come back to demolding but in between we're going to show you which is this skull that I've pulled out of the mold earlier on how to do the black highlights so what we're going to do at this time is we're going to do the highlights on the skull I like to use the Duplicolor Vinyl on Fabric Black and you want an old towel, any kind of old towel and um, basically what you're going to do, you're going to take the skull and it doesn't have to be super pretty but we're going to spray black all over it. Obviously you want to use gloves as you can tell it's a wise thing. Once you get them looking nice and ugly, then you wipe off all the excess in the areas you don't want black. And you can wipe and wipe as much as you want or as least as you want. If you want a darker looking skull, lighter looking skull, however you decide you like the look. I like to look to leave the deeper parts a little darker and the top of his head a little more whiter and that's about it for doing the skull so we're gonna check now to see if it's ready to demold it's been about 15 20 minutes you can see how it's separating right from the polyurethane cast see kind of inside there I think you can so looks ready we're just gonna kind of loosen it wiggle it around and then depending on your mold how you made it you just gotta pop it out of there and there it is and then what we do is we kind of grind the excess off the bottom here and everything else looks pretty good clean it up a little bit if you want it's still a little soft you can even carve on it right now if you like and that's the finished product